is up guys, I'm Dallas46, welcome back. We're gonna do a quick review this time. I was approached uh, by the media director of Black Ops about a week ago. I know, right, trigger word, Black Ops. Uh, he said, I'd watched your 1911 review, uh, that's now a couple years old, maybe three years old, and uh, I wanted to know if you'd like to review another one of our guns. And I said, yeah man, I love reviewing products, send it to me. So, it's, the box is void of any large, uh, gimmicky, big graphic type images, you know what I mean? For on the go flip ups, you just push down on this button right here and boom. So it's got your uh, your full metal sling mount on the front that's built into it. And the whole front sight assembly is gonna have roll pins in it so you can punch it out if uh, you later on wanna put on a full rail system. I assume it's gonna have uh, you know, up to snuff teeth underneath this AR Delta ring there. Not a lot of wine at all. I was afraid that I was gonna have to go in there and adjust the motor height. A lot of times when you get these newer guns um, that are kind of questionable from China or Taiwan or whatever, anytime I get a gun, usually the first thing I do is a motor adjustment. I get an Allen key and start adjusting that motor height. Um, but this thing sounds good right out of the box, man. And then here's full auto. Let's see what this thing's all about. So far, overall, guys, I feel like Black Ops is trying to this might be their redemption gun. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this could be a gun that I wouldn't mind running myself, personally, is what I'm getting at. Uh, I gotta get to my ass on the plane. I gotta throw this camera back in the bag and get going. Uh, if you guys are out there at Shot Show in Vegas this week, make sure you stop by say hi. If not, I will see you when I get back into Kansas City. Later, guys.